Abby. My name is Morgan Slyke. I'm actually majoring in creative writing and poetry, but I feel a little bit like I've tricked you, but I'm not necessarily going to be talking about poetry at all tonight. Um, I am actually sort of an all-around art-loving kind of gal. Uh, I've been acting since I can remember. I taught myself guitar. I actually am a master at drawing pictures on a computer. Um, and self-expression is just a huge part of my life. You know, I think my generation actually gets well, before that, let me say that I think I was going to originally talk about poetry and misconceptions of poets and how like people think that we're wearing berets and crying into our coffee and coffee shops because it imitates like the blackness of our soul and whatever. And similarly, our generation is misrepresented, as my next slide will show. Thank you. Um, as being the quote unquote generation of selfies. People think that we're somehow more obsessed with representing ourselves than ever before, that we're conceited and egoistic and etc. But really, when you look throughout history, humans have been trying to find ways to represent themselves for 40,000 years. Here's the first instance of when we figured out how to create our hands on the wall. And here's a man telling us that he killed a bison, in a similar way that someone on Instagram might tell you how their day was going today. And don't even really get me started on royals and aristocrats throughout history who would stand four hours in tights and wigs and heels in uncomfortable poses, paying tons of money to the best artists in their country, and, like Louis XIV, missing over 300 photos of their face. So are we really the selfie generation? I'm not sure. <laughs> I think what it really boils down to is the fact that humans love our faces. And we love capturing our faces in a particular moment. In hopes that in that particular capturing of that particular moment, we can somehow express ourselves, show our essence, who we really are. Which is a totally natural thing, considering that we're self-aware and social beings. We have this need to understand, understand ourselves, and this need to express that understanding to others. Which is why social media, selfies, etc., make total sense. But I want you to question today whether or not they actually address those needs. Because I think that Facebook and creating a profile is a placebo in the essence that we can you know, burnish up this identity. Say, this is who I am definitively, period. Here is my profile. Here's the way that you can look at me. When really, what are we what are we representing? Are we representing an actual an actual version of ourselves? I think to answer that question, we need to first go over what are all the things which make us who we are. Well, tough question. Because yes, we are our appearance, which can be represented in photos, but we're also the story of every person we've ever met, every thought we've ever had, every emotion we've ever had inside of our stomachs, any time we've ever smelled something, any song we've ever listened to. There's a lot that goes into making a person a person. <laughs> and when will our reflection show who we are inside? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because when we take something like Facebook, what we're doing is we're saying that there's like a definitive way to say, this is who I am. Really, that might not be true. <laughs> when we're trying to figure out what we look like, we use a mirror. We use an outside source which is able to reflect ourselves back upon us. So what are we supposed to do when we're trying to figure out what our insides look like? When our insides are made out of a lot of sort of nebulous concepts which float around and aren't visible, how are we supposed to get a reflection of something when it's not visible? Well, I'm arguing today that I think that Facebook is sort of our haphazard way of making a reflection of our inner selves, which is nice in concept, but what we're doing when we're reflecting ourselves is we're putting the statement out that we're something which is able to be reflected. And I don't think that that's the case. Because we have all of these things which go into our experiences, and this is the, the amount of those things which transfers over to our internet, our internet representation, which is why I think that social media is a placebo. Now, I'm not saying that social media is necessarily a horrible thing. And I'm not going to stand up here and say that I don't have an incredibly active Facebook profile, Tumblr, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram account, Yahoo account, because I do. And I love them, and I think that they're fine. But I think that we also need to be aware of the fact that we're not writing our novels, we're writing our personas. And I don't think that we should, sat we should settle for that. I don't think that we should be satisfied. I don't think that creating this image should give us that rush of like, yes, I've answered the question, I know who I am. So how do we get there? Well, when I tell people that I write poetry, they often ask me whether or not my poems rhyme. And I sort of like go fall and come up with this answer that's like, no, of course I'm not, you know, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> but they do rhyme in the sense that I want my work to rhyme with who I am. And I think that's all we can really do. We can't completely represent ourselves or duplicate ourselves, but we can create things that rhyme with ourselves. And as the, you know, selfie generation, I think that we have the ability to rhyme with ourselves in a plethora of ways, in ways and directions and dimensions that we've never had before. 
and we can use that, or we can go the other way on the crossroads. Sorry, I'm out of time, but I'm going to keep going. Or we can go the other way on the crossroads and settle with the fact that we have the ability to condense ourselves into a profile, to flatten ourselves out. So what I'm asking you here today is to choose between the two of them. And I think we could go the direction in which we can like, try to fully represent ourselves as a functioning human being. What we need is we need art. We need to make creations. We need to try to investigate who we are by replicating ourselves in all of the ways which the world provides.